Huh? <laughs> What's going on, guys? The Aried Lore is back. Um, oh, I've I had to take a little bit of a hiatus from the channel just for a little bit. Um, didn't probably seem like that too much for some of my fans. I've taken longer hiatuses before. Um, but, um, this one is definitely, you know, a longer one, um, because I started work this past week, and, um, it's been, I don't know, it's been a roller coaster, I think, I'll use a metaphor, uh, to best describe the circumstance, because, um, it's, you know, going from a college student five weeks ago to jumping into the workforce is kind of uh, a lot. Um, I know a lot of my friends who are probably, you know, I think some of them, some of them are, have already started work, but some of them are not starting until like the fall, so they basically have like a summer off, which, I mean, I can understand that, but for some of us, we're not so lucky, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. The point of this video and the title of this video is, I guess, hmm, you know, when I made this video, I was going to make one about, um, I was going to make one about The Walking Dead, and I was going to make one talking about when do I think the show will end. I think I might save that for this weekend. You know, assuming I have time, which I probably will. The weekend is, like, the best bet for when I'll actually have fucking free time at this point. Um, but I think for this video, I just want to talk about reaching your dreams um, and your goals. Just in general. And I know this is a pretty off-topic thing for me to uh, start with, to be quite honest. Um... I've mainly just talked about TV and video game stuff on this channel, so for me to suddenly talk about, like, life advice, it might sound like it's right out of left field. But, um, it's certainly th something I've been thinking about a lot over the past couple of days. Um, and I wonder if my subscribers feel the same way. Um, I know a lot of you guys just like the video, some of you don't comment, some of you do comment. Um... But I want to try to make this a little personal with you guys. Um, just in terms of achieving goals, whatever they may be. You know, let's say you want to be, you know, a doctor when you get out of college. Let's say you want to be an entrepreneur when you get out of college. Notice how I'm saying when you get out of college because I do firmly believe that in at least the U.S. educational system, a degree of some sort from a secondary institution is important. Uh, in achieving any reputable and and uh, monetary uh, goal that is, you know, helps in terms of, you know, earning a wage, just, you know, the most essential thing for literally everyone. Um, so, yeah, whatever, whatever it is you may want, I guess, from life, whether it's some high-level position or maybe something that you're really passionate at. Now, I have obviously a passion for my YouTube channel, although I don't know if I'd really do it full-time. Back in 2011, 2012, I tried to do that, basically. I mean, I was in high school, but I acted like the channel was a full-time job because I was uploading so much video gaming content not realizing that the content wasn't really bringing in many views per video. And what I honestly should have done was focused more on singular videos for the channel uh, and uploaded uh, just worthwhile content in one video instead of trying to do like 50 parts of a playthrough and stuff. Like people get bored and just, you know, I was competing with other YouTubers that were doing that strategy and it really just wasn't the smartest thing. So, you know the goal for my YouTube channel, and you know, I, I reached goals with my YouTube channel, I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is a pretty big goal for a channel, um, also, I wanted to, uh, 
get some sort of monetary sum from the channel in some form. Uh, and that came uh, many years ago. Uh, back in 2012, I, you know, after, after only uh, two years of doing the channel, I was fortunate enough to get into a partnership with Machinima, who I'm very thankful for. I've, you know, earned a decent amount. If you add up from 2012, I have, you know, made a decent amount. But again, that's, it's chunk change. It just pays for a drink on the weekend. It's nothing, it's nothing huge. It's not supporting a house or anything. It's not supporting this. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so, yeah, it's, I, I guess the inclination for a lot of people, you know, people start with big goals and stuff, and I've always kept my goals very close to myself. They've always been the most important part of what makes me, me. Whenever I fall back on something, or whenever something has me down, or whether, whenever, the prospect of the future comes onto the horizon and I'm uncertain about something. I always think about what my goals are and what I really, really want to do uh, in the future. And there are goals that I have, big, big goals that I have for the future. And for me, it's a specific occupation. I obviously have done very good with all of my social media work with my YouTube channel. And um, I've taken that to heart by actually, when I went into college, I was still doing the YouTube channel. And much of what I did with the YouTube channel influenced what my major was going to be in college. So I chose a communications major because I felt it dealt with writing, which is another big area of interest that I have, the biggest, as you'll learn. And communications kind of put it all into perspective. Uh, because it infused uh, industry, it infused the media industry. The media industry was what I was interested in, and studying it was uh, basically what I took up in my undergraduate uh, endeavors. Um, and so I had a series of internships, four actually, coming right out. Uh, every single summer of my undergraduate life, I had an internship somewhere. Um, most of them were in Massachusetts. They were all most in Massachusetts. One of them was abroad in London when I traveled abroad. I have a video from that two years ago. Not the internship, but my vlog of me leaving. Um, so, yeah, I've done four internships, you know, in the past. They were all, you know, just summer positions. Uh, and I was fortunate enough that they were all paid positions. And I know a lot of internships these days are just are unpaid Many of them, more. there are more unpaid internships than there are paid internships. And I know that what I did was probably not the norm. <laughs> uh, I was very lucky, but I was adamant because I didn't want my time to be wasted. I didn't want to go into work and, you know, learn. I would be learning useful information because it's an internship. But I also didn't, I didn't want to, you know, in a sense, like, waste my time because you know for many of these internships I was traveling long distances one was in Boston one was uh was up north very far from me um and so it required other transportation to get to and so I basically was like you know I have to be compensated somehow for the gas and the time and the money that I you know all this stuff that I'm using so I made it sure that I would get some type of paid internship, you know, and I, I searched long and hard and sometimes it came right down to the wire. It was like a f the last weekend or so in May of like both my freshman and my junior year that I got a position. It was only my sophomore year that I knew ahead of time. I think it was like April. It was it was ahead of time about for a month or two. But for many of these positions, it was kind of down to the wire. Even the job that I just got was kind of down to the wire. Um, I was still going through interviewing processes even after I graduated from my undergraduate institution. I was still kind of talking to them about, you know, working there and stuff. And, uh, you know, it kind of came down to the wire as well. I was out of college for, you know, two or three weeks with no job. And, you know, I kind of knew that this job was on the horizon and I was pretty, you know, I, I was expecting to get it. So I guess I wasn't too surprised when I did. But, you know, because there, there was good chemistry and everything just kind of worked. Um, but, you know, 
for me when I'm when I'm in this you know position and stuff you know for the future you always have to keep I think your goals in mind about what you want to do I think nowadays it's easy to get caught up and say oh you know you need money I keep saying you know a lot I <laughs> I know I I'm listening to myself talk like subconsciously because my friend reminded me of this he's like you say you know a lot like ugh, the words like you know uh like anything that stalls or uh, delays a conversation or delays a train of thought i do all of this on the fly so i'm not jump cutting or editing anything it's funny there are youtube channels that are dedicated to people doing this like i, I forget what the the term is it's something about like going for some unspecified amount of time without jump cutting and to see how long you can do it for and I'm and I'm thinking to myself I've done that many times like there are th hundreds of videos on my channel stretching back as far as 2010 where I was speaking on this channel without jump cutting heck I never jump cut any vlog I do Except if there's some sort of error with my camera or error with my software where it just messes up. Or I have to blow my nose or I'm sick or something so I have to delay the footage for a period of time. Like, usually I'm not doing that. But anyway, not to get off topic. Um, I'm a big believer, again, in people achieving their dreams. And I think there has to be a go-getter mentality with it. That you have to fight for what you want every day and you have to take unusual avenues and even if you're doing something at a certain point in your life that you may not want to do or something that you feel like oh well why am I doing you know this position when I really want to go for this position just because I think something important to remember is just because you are in a certain position that doesn't mean that that's the position for life that you know just because you're there that means that there's no way you're gonna get to your your goals whatever they may be just because you're in let's say you want to be I've used many examples so far but let's say again you want to be an artist or an actor let's say and you're you need to make money so you get a job at a restaurant you know manager or something less like waiting tables or cleaning tables something that's just at the bottom of the barrel basically you know and again there's nothing wrong with restaurant jobs I you know those take a lot of dedication for people to do but if you want something more you have to remember that everyone starts somewhere and I remember there was a post on LinkedIn I I uh, favorited or ret I didn't not retweet but I like reposted it and it was about a whole bunch of famous people, actors, authors, and all this stuff who have, they were at a certain point in their life and they hadn't achieved the, the success that we all know them by today. So like J.K. Rowling went through 12 book rejections. Uh, there were many actors who were still like 24, 25, and they were still uh, you know, waiting tables or doing some sort of meager job for very low pay. Uh, you know, all these people took risks. And I think that's the other form of advice that, you know, people who do motivational videos like this say that. Take risks. Don't be afraid to pursue your dreams. But a lot of that is general, not, not necessarily generic, but it's very general advice. I think the best way to rephrase that is to, is to say, keep all of your options open. To never close a door because you think that it's not going to lead you somewhere there are times when you can tell more you know if you're in a certain circumstance you can say oh okay that's definitely not going to lead you know if I'm if I'm trying to become a lawyer going and taking a whole bunch of science classes in college is definitely not going to get me there so something black and white like that however in terms of the specific uh, people you meet, I mean, I can't tell you how important it is to make essential contacts. I mean, 
LinkedIn and some there are so many forms of social media that can get you in contact instantly with people who are doing what you do and can help network. Networking is extremely important. Many times, yeah, I'm sure you've all heard this, you know, it's all in who you know. So sometimes the right person can have the right contacts to get you in, yeah, you know, to get you that sweet spot or can get you maybe just one interview and then you go in and if you got the dedication and the motivation, you can prove yourself in that moment. Sometimes it's all it takes is just a chance. And what you have to pursue is that chance, is the opportunity to make it happen. But while you pursue that on the side, work on your craft. Work on what it is you want to do. Perfect that. But also continuously in your everyday life as you're doing things, make sure what you're doing is, tr is trying to overlap with that goal big goal that you're essentially trying to hit uh, because you know it's basically you're throwing you know 300 darts at a board trying to hit the bullseye eventually one of those darts is going to hit or one of those darts is going to overlap and hit the other dart and then they'll all collide and you know eventually link back to I guess the bullseye if you don't exactly hit the bullseye it'll get around there that's my analogy that, that I'm sticking with here uh, again off the top of my head but um, it's kind of like the best advice I'm trying to give you guys I didn't come prepared to this video really with any notes or uh, pre you know preliminary thoughts about this topic I'm kind of just speaking from the heart to be quite honest trying to relay what I feel about chasing goals and chasing dreams because I very much still am and for me you know I will never give up on my dreams I will you know pass away from this earth still pursuing my dreams whatever they are if they're the same as today if they're the same as tomorrow I will still be pursuing something and that kind of mentality takes people far never giving up there are so many quotes about never giving up from so many different famous people from so many just people philosophers and it's so again it's it's almost advice that we've heard so much that we kind of become immune to it but it is certainly important and i think what brings it into perspective is when there are examples from your life, when you can look at past examples and say, hey, I didn't give up when I studied really hard for that math test when I was in eighth grade. And I kept studying even though I wasn't good at math and I kept studying, kept studying, and I ended up getting a decent grade on it, even though before I had maybe failed one. So even small examples, they don't have to be huge, large, eventually you'll get to that point, but even small examples you can trace that mentality of never giving up. So when people tell you and you see it in inspirational posters and movies and quotes and all sorts of crap, you can at least trace it to somewhere. And if you want to achieve some high level of success, you can say to yourself, I can look back at my life and see moments where I've done that. And if you haven't, take examples from other people, people you admire, family, friends, ask them what motivates them, use their motivation, you know, your willingness to go f you know, the extra mile for them because you care about them, to help them. Use that care for them to also motivate you. You could even be a goal. You know, personal relationships are also uh, great goal setters for uh, anyone. So, so that's all I really have to say. I don't want to make the video go on too long. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone my thoughts on this kind of stuff. Uh, and this is coming from someone who's been out of college for a few weeks. I had been there for four years and now leaving and entering the job world, uh, you know, for the time being is just, you know, frightening a little bit. And it's it just kind of puts things in perspective. So for me, I make this vlog to maybe vent a little bit, but also to help give you guys some type of uh, help and life advice. Also, these videos are very thera if I could speak, therapeutic. That's the word. <laughs> um, meaning that it feels good to just talk about this stuff. I feel like I'm talking to an audience right now, even though I'm just talking to my computer. I am talking to an audience because I will eventually upload this video and people will see it. So it does 
feel like I have people that, you know, are still, you know, reaching out towards me. And I should make a habit of checking in with the YouTube channel, maybe, a little bit more often, you know, maybe not do Walking Dead vlogs all the time, but maybe just check in with the channel and check in with my subscribers and fans. I want to build a relationship with you guys. We are, who are my top fans? Who are the people who are coming to my channel and supporting me the most? I would love to be a bigger part of what you guys are doing and interact with you guys more. It would mean a lot. I love to see your comments. I always ask people to comment, uh, whether it's on The Walking Dead or something else. Um, you guys know I still watch The Walking Dead, so no matter what I'm doing for work, I will be watching that show and trying to get reaction videos up as soon as possible. Um, at least The Walking Dead's not on right now when I'm trying to start work. It won't be on until October, so at least I'll have been in a uh, work schedule for many months at that point, and I will know a way to figure out how The Walking Dead's time and all that will fit into, you know, my work and stuff, so. So anyway, I don't want to make this vlog go on too long, but I just wanted to say some of that stuff to you guys and uh, let you know what I feel about chasing dreams and chasing goals, because you should never give up on them, so. That's the one takeaway. If you want to skip some of the parts where I ramble a little bit and keep saying, you know, you could at least timestamp this and say that I got to the point eventually, so. All right, um, I'm going to head out. Peace, and I will try to check in with the channel more later. This weekend, I'll probably try to put up a Walking Dead vlog. Like I said, I wanted to do a vlog about when I think The Walking Dead's going to end. General question, general thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a question. Well, there's a lot of YouTube vlogs about it, so I will offer my two cents to the world of Walking Dead vloggers and uh, tell you what I think. All right, and uh, peace out. That's about it. See you guys.